To add a new quiz question slide, click on the same button as before, but instead of blank, choose question slide. Here you can select what kind of question you want to add. For this project, we will choose multiple choice question. Check the checkbox and click OK. Now you can see that the two slides were added, although we only wanted one. The second slide is quiz results slide, and it will automatically be added to your project once you create a quiz question slide. You can later hide it if you don't need it. If you want to change text formatting, you can use styles in the same way we previously used them for title and content text. As this is a different type of slide with answer choices and not simple text fields, you will have to create a specific style for quiz title and quiz answer options. First, click on the answer options and change the font family, style and color. After that, you can create a new text style right from Properties panel. Click the drop-down above Style Name and select Create New Style. Create a new style named Question Answer. Now, it is easy to set the same formatting to other answer options. Click on the second answer option and choose the new style from the Style Name drop-down. You can do the same with Quiz Title and other elements in this slide. We already created a style for question title, so we simply have to choose it from the list. To add more answer options to this question, go to Quiz tab. Change the answer count from 2 to 4 and click Enter. Now you have 4 answer options. Add the same style as the first two and you will be all set with the answer choices. To set the right answer for this question, you have to click on the radio button next to the answer option. By default, the correct answer is always set to answer option number 1. For now, this is a single answer question, but it is easy to switch it to multiple answer question. Go to quiz tab and check the multiple answer checkbox. Now you have turned this into a multiple answer question and you can set more than one correct answer. You can also change the button formatting. Select the Submit button from the slide and change the fill and text colors in the Properties tab. In every quiz slide, there are also feedbacks that you can change. To get to the feedbacks, you might have to move some other objects away. Easiest way how to move the overlaying objects is with Shift Plus, Up or Down arrow. Under the first object, you can find the incorrect feedback. Double click on it to change the text. Do the same to get to the correct feedback that is underneath the incorrect feedback. After that, move all objects to the same position as they were before.